So we're answering questions today, and I got another one from YouTube, from Devin Bly. Are you ever gonna make a video about your minor league career? I'm just curious about what it was like. Just about the whole thing, such as when you got drafted, what made you become drafted, what round you were drafted in, how long you were playing, how far you made it, and how close to the big leagues you were, thanks. Yeah, absolutely, I could talk a little bit about that. Um, basically, I was drafted out of Auburn University uh, my senior year. I didn't get drafted my junior year. I was eligible to get drafted my junior year, but I didn't because I walked too many uh, hitters. Um, so my senior year, I spent really that whole year and coming up to my senior year mastering the sinker, um, which was my fastball. And I got really good at it. I learned a lot, and not only did I start throwing it faster, but I started throwing it with more movement and more accuracy. So I eliminated all the walks, and I just started dominating guys my senior year. So uh, I was actually an All-American that year. Uh, I led the nation in ERA, and I also led the nation in appearances. I think I threw like 85 innings. I think I threw almost every single game as a relief pitcher that year. Um, so it was it was crazy. And I'd, I'd have to say to answer one of your other questions, that was probably the biggest reason that got me drafted was mastering the sinker. Um, and I made an a advanced sinker and slider training course online. Um, which kind of just goes into everything that I learned um, in mastering the sinker and the slider uh, to really get to that next level um, and get drafted. So if you're interested in that, if you're a pitcher um, and you're interested in that, I'll leave a link below where you can check that out. Um, and from there, I was drafted in the eighth round um, by San Diego Padres. So basically what happens after you're drafted is... Um, you negotiate, you finish negotiating the contract, and if you're not a first round guy, you're not really negotiating um, a, uh, any type of different contract. You're signing a standard seven year minor league deal. Uh, so I did that, but you negotiate the signing bonuses. So I spent a couple days negotiating that um, with my agent and the scout. Um, and when we came to an agreement, the next thing happened, they said, okay, uh, here's a plane ticket. And they flew me out to Arizona, which was where their spring training facility was. Um, and then you go to this thing called, um, I think it's called mini camp. Um, it's where all the guys who just got drafted go. Um, you go to the spring training complex and you just do, I think it was like four or five days or something. And you just go through the routine of the like spring training type deal. Um, and you meet all the new draft guys and everything. And then you break and some guys stayed there in what they call extended, extended spring training. Um, and other guys went to uh, the respective minor league teams. Most of the guys that were there that were drafted, um, especially the college guys, went to uh, what they called short season A because the draft is in the middle of the minor league season. It's in summer. Um, so they call it short season because they make a whole new season for just a, it's like a half of a season. So basically we made a team out of those draft guys, the high draft guys, and uh, we went there and played the remainder of the minor league season. Um, that was in Eugene, Oregon, and that was a pretty cool experience because we lived in a hotel. Uh, we lived in a Hilton down there, and uh, you know it was just a it was a unique experience going from Florida. I grew up in you know born in New Jersey, grew up in Florida, and next thing you know, I'm playing baseball in Oregon on the total other side of the country, living in a hotel. So it was pretty fun, pretty great experience. Met a lot of really cool guys. I'm still keep in touch with a lot of them as well. Um, let's see, so what happened after that? So after that, uh, finished that season, went home. Actually, I had to go to, um, what the heck do they call it? It's after the season, not fall league. Uh, instructional league is what they call it. So I had to go to instructional league. for. It's a month after the season, back at spring training complex. So I did that for a month. Um, and all the first year guys um, pretty much had to do it. So... Um, so we all did that, had some fun, lived out of a hotel again. And then I got to go home for a couple months until it was the next year, the full uh, spring training, which in which after spring training would be a full season. So it would be my first full season. So that would be uh, 2006, I think. 2005, I was drafted. 2006, I went to Low A, which was in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, so basically in the minor leagues, you got... Rookie ball, you got extended spring training, 
which actually I said that backwards. It's extended spring, spring, spring training, rookie ball, short season A, low A. Am I counting right? Extended, rookie, short season, low A, high A, double A, triple A, big leagues. So basically you got eight levels you got to get through, or seven levels to get to the eighth level. Um, so my f first full season I was in low A. Um, and I did really good there. I was able to top out at 96 miles an hour. I was a closer. I was dominating guys. I think I had a low two ERA, like a 2.1 or something like that. Um, I was voted uh, most valuable pitcher that year. I was ranked number one slider in the whole Padres organization and number two sinker, well, number two fastball, which my fastball was a sinker um, in the whole Padres organization. So again, those two pitches were huge in getting me to that level um, and to where I was at. Um, and again, I'll leave that link below to where you can get that uh, tra online training course if you're interested in learning how to master those pitches as well. Um, so basically, after that season, um, I went to high A, which was the next level up. I had a mediocre year that year, backed it up with another mediocre year. I think my ERA was like in the threes or something, three or fours. Uh, those two years and that at the end of that season they moved me up to triple A um, and uh, so uh, high A first of all was in Lake Elsinore, California um, and that was a lot of fun had a great time so played there for two pretty almost two full seasons uh, like I said went to triple A at the end of that and then I was picked up after that year in the triple A phase of the rule five draft so the Rule 5 draft is a little um, crazy. Basically, teams get to, after a certain amount of years, team with one organization, I believe this is how it works, teams get to take you from that team if they want. They have to, pay, they have to basically buy your contract from the team, and then they test you out. Basically is what they're doing. They test you out in spring training. If they like you, they can keep you and I don't know if they have to pay more or I don't know how it works with that but if they like you they keep you if they don't like you they can return you back to your organization or release you um, so anyway I got picked up by that by the, uh, in the rule five triple a phase of the rule five draft by the New York Mets so I went to spring training that next year with the New York Mets and um, I ended up making their double a team so I played there for a little while um, ended up getting hurt, um, and that's when I stopped playing, did all my rehab and all that stuff. Um, but that was my last year of playing, so got to play a few years with the Padres, a few years with the Mets. In, in the Padres organization, though, uh, I know your question was how close did you get to the big leagues. I got to pitch in a few big league games um, during spring training. So, you know, being ranked number one uh, slider and number two sinker in the uh, fastball in the whole organization and you know most valuable pitcher 96 mile an hour all that stuff uh you know i, I felt like i was on the path to making it to the big leagues um and i did get to pitch some big league games in uh spring training so it was fun uh i my claim to fame is i struck out prince fielder um you know faced a faced a handful of other big leaguers um it was just a just a great experience. Love playing every minute of it, and uh, wouldn't trade it for the world. So, hope that answers your question. I hope I hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight into minor league baseball. Hope I didn't ramble on too long. Um, but uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I would love to answer all questions in the comments below. Talk about it. Let me know what uh, if you were to be drafted, which team would you like to be drafted by? Let's talk about it in the comments below.